Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my third year schedule. So we recently received our third year schedule. We were actually able to pick it by lottery. So my lottery number was 91 out of 145 or something like that. And I still picked the schedule that I'm really happy with. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. So my third year officially starts on June 27th. Um, so I'm going to be taking my step one, which is a board exam on June 17th. And I'm going to have a week vacation and coming back on the 27th. Um, and we're going to have one week course called Introduction to Clerkship Experience called, so we call it ICE. So my first clerkship, everyone has a different schedule, but for my first clerkship, I have um, psychiatry first. So that's going to be psych. Um, so I'm going to have psych from July until first two weeks of August. And then next I have PEDS. So these are basically uh, six week courses. So I have six weeks of psych, six weeks of PEDS. And then after um, end of September, I'm going to move on to OBGYN, which I'm excited about. Basically at these clerkships, you're going to be part of a team. So you'll be with uh, and attending you'll be with the residents and you'll be with the fourth year medical students and you're pretty much at the, the lowest level um, of the team because you don't really know anything but you'll be following around um, your team and seeing patients and learning how these professionals treat their patients. In November I'm going to start off with family medicine. So starting from end of September to very beginning of November, I'm going to be doing OBGYN. Our patients will be basically female patients and pregnant women. So I'll get to see some um, births during that rotation, which is very exciting. In November, I have family medicine and family medicine takes me up to December 16th. And that is when my winter vacation starts. <clears throat> so in 2017, I'll be back at the hospital on January 3rd and I'll be starting with something pretty intensive. I'm going to have my surgery rotation there and this is going to be an eight week rotation so I'm going to have surgery from um, January all the way up to very end of February and starting February I'm going to have medicine and I know that sounds very very general. Basically it's going to be your typical like hospitalized patient. So you'll see everything from you know heart attacks to very bad diabetes, heart failure, um, <clears throat> kidney problems, uh, gallbladder problems, and all all types of cis, um, sort of your typical hospitalization cases. Um, you have to have a very broad based knowledge for medicine. So I heard that it's a very challenging rotation. Um, starting at the end of April and most of May, I have my electives, so I'm hoping to do an emergency medicine. I'm hoping to do that as my elective and um, you can really do anything you want um, during this elective time, but um, having an elective at the end, end of third year is a really good time to kind of explore, explore the things that you haven't seen um, during um, your third year, but something that you might be interested in pursuing. So we don't have an emergency medicine clerkship during third year, but I might be interested in pursuing it. So I want to experience that as early as possible. So I'm going to try to do emergency medicine as my elective. And my last clerkship is going to be Neuro. And that's pretty much going to be my last rotation before I um, start preparing for my step two. So that's my third year schedule. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like and comment below if you guys have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.